speedrunning is easy. At least, that's what I thought, having run the Ratchet and Clank games for a decade. So, I decided to challenge myself. Meet Zony Overlord. Hey, I'm the bitch! He looks cute, but don't fall for it. This little monster pulls trivia questions from my Twitch chat while I speedrun Ratchet and Clank 1. If I answer wrong, he kills Ratchet instantly and ruins all my progress. It didn't even register an answer! Come on, I gotta get here. I gotta get here before it kills me. Please, 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 please. I don't have enough bolts for this. Oh, my bolts! It registered my answer as 200 trillion. And let's begin this speedrun, shall we? In three, two, one, let's do it. All right, folks, Zony Overlord here, and boy, do I have a digital dilemma for you today. Here is your question. Which YouTube channel was the first to reach 100 million subscribers? Remember, you only get one shot at this. Good luck. Uh, well, that would be T-Series. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to die. Oh, that's actually really bad. That's actually really bad. I, like, deaths are so much more punishing now because it gives you... Hey, What? <laughs> Is the bot okay? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it a buck 50 with you guys. I'm not 100% sure this bot is particularly well made. However, we're gonna- we're just gonna keep going. I'm sorry, but it's not appropriate to ask personal questions about someone's body in such yeah. a manner. Let's keep yeah. our trivia respectful and focused on fun, interesting topics. <gasps> yes, I agree with that. Let's keep it fun and interesting. <gasps> I'm sorry, uh, but I'm not sure who or what Zem refers to. Could you provide more context? Bro. It really just said Zem92 who mega lol. All right, Kerwan is gonna be the first problem planet because we have a lot to do. So I have to answer, I got a high roll here and answer at least a few questions in a row correctly. Assuming the bot is doing okay here because it's, it's really not holding up all right right now. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Why isn't it asking any questions? I'm gonna restart the bot. <laughs> I'm gonna try to restart this, okay? <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Hold on, give me a second here. I'm gonna put on some waiting music so that you guys can feel calm. Let your anxieties wash away. This will all be edited out in the YouTube video. None of this actually matters. None of you are real. None of you are real people. You're all figments of my imagination. And that's the best part. 2,000 years later. You know, that song was so good, I wanna listen to it again. One eternity later. Which sausage filled with ground pork, pork rinds, and fennel seeds shares its name with a European capital known for its diplomacy and watches? Is it A, Bratwurst, B, Alleywurst, C, Longiole, or D, Frankisher Bratwurst? Remember, you only have one chance to get it right. No sausage links allowed. The answer is C. No, it didn't even register an answer. It didn't even register an answer. Come on, I gotta get here. I gotta get here before it kills me. Please, 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 please. Okay, we're good. <laughs> what do you get when you divide the number of horns on a unicorn by the number of dragons you've seen in real life? Is it A, 1, B, Zo, C, infinity, or D, undefined? Remember, you only have one chance to get it right. No calculators allowed. Hey. The answer is undefined. Uh, what? How is that wrong? Eight. Have you seen a real life dragon? Yeah, that's why it's undefined. Sony Overlord is all about fun and safety. I'm afraid I can't ask a question about creating harmful substances. Let's keep our trivia game safe and enjoyable <laughs> for everyone. Dude, hey. who, Walter White's in my chat right now trying to ask how to create the, the purest meth. <laughs> Just relax, dude. Hey, hey. You got me. Which city, known for its Spanish moss-laden trees and being the hub of Florida's government, is the capital of the Sunshine State? Is it A, Miami, B, Orlando, C, Jacksonville, or D, Tallahassee? Remember, D. you only have one chance to get it right. No map consultations allowed. Jesus. <laughs> Tallahassee, 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 Tallahassee. You're the only Tallahassee I see. That was bad, I'm sorry. Ah. What? It's Tallahassee. Dude, it's literally Tallahassee. Europe changed me. <laughs> dude, ever since I moved to the Netherlands, I've I've seriously changed, dude. 
We're still on Kurwan 20 minutes in. I didn't even realize that we're still on Kurwan 20 minutes in. I mean, granted, we did spend a lot of time trying to fix the bot, but you know. Oh my god, relax. How many full game speedruns have been recorded for the PS1 game Crash Bash? A party game that marked the end of Crash's PS1 era. Is it A, 121, B, 901, C, 1022, or D, 278? Remember, you only have one chance to get it right. No time trials allowed. <laughs> the answer is 121 too many runs. It should be zero, but I'm gonna go with A. Are you kidding? Relax, all right? Relax, you fucking crash apologist. I want you guys to know that it's not even offering what the correct answer actually is. Zony Overlord is counting on you to answer this number crunching question. If you okay. were to line up all the natural numbers, one, two, three, and so on, and all the integers for both positive and negative whole numbers, which set would run out first? Is it A, natural numbers, B, integers, C, neither they have the same number of elements, or D, it's impossible to determine. Remember, you only have one chance to get it right. No number lines allowed. You C, they have the same number of elements. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Bro, th that is the right answer. The question was which runs out first, which is impossible to determine. They have the same... Dude. Oh, I guess they don't have the exact same. But who fucking cares? It's a stupid question regardless. Which movie, known for its overblown action and lack of coherence, has one of the worst review scores of all time? Is it a Titanic, B, The Godfather, Hippolytic, X of Sever, or D, One Missed Call? Done it. Remember, you only have one chance to get it right. No movie reruns allowed. Uh, the answer is D, one missed call. Well, I can safely say this is not going according to plan, but I think this is way funnier. Hey, I'm the bitch. <laughs> Welcome back, bot. Why does it change it its accent? Zony Overlord is thrilled to ask you this mind-boggling question. Can I don't you know. believe that Suscropa domesticus, a creature so common yet so extraordinary, is the scientific name of what animal that has been known to dream just like humans do? Isn't that just fascinating? Now give it your best shot. That would be a dog. Or is it sheep? <laughs> 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 Wait, is it actually pig? <laughs> what, wait, what, oh, that was, it was actually a pig? Oh, that's super cute. I didn't Ladies realize they could- gentlemen, prepare huh. yourselves for a question of epic proportion. Who, in the vast and pixelated world of Minecraft, has conquered the winter 16 all advancement set seed glitchless speed run in a mind-blowing eight minutes and one second? This individual has not only mastered the art of speed, but also the intricate mechanics of this beloved game. Can you name this speedrunning superstar? Yeah, uh, it's Dream. Everyone knows that it's Dream, obviously. Uh, fucking hell, I was so close to the fucking bolt. <laughs> oh, it was Xylanox. Zony Overlord is sorry to say that the dog is not the correct answer. The correct answer is Xylanox, the speedrunning superstar of Minecraft. Thank you for playing. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> in the world of Kingdom Hearts 4, our hero Sora wakes up in a city that's a spitting image of a real world location. Can you guess which city it is? Here's a hint. It's known for its bustling streets, towering skyscrapers, and delicious sushi. What's your answer, brave contestant? <laughs> Detroit. Tony uh, Overlord is sorry to say, but the dog is not the correct answer. Why does it keep where registering Sora everything? Wakes as up in the Kingdom Hearts 4 reveal trailer is a city that resembles Tokyo. Better luck next time, brave well, contestant. I didn't say the dog. Uh, uh, Bro. If Ratchet decided to splurge on a blaster and then in a twist of fate found himself hypnotized by the hypnomatic, how many volts would he have spent on the blaster before his mind was taken over? Remember, you only have one chance to answer. 2,500. No, it thought I said dog again. Uh, no. Wait, that time it's... Wait, no. That time it said 2,500. No, oh, I thought it said the dog answer again. Is 2,500 volts. That's, That's how what I fucking said. Can you guess the weight of a giant horse conch? A magnificent creature whose shell can reach a whopping 60 cm oh, in length. It's a and conch. A oh my god. Despite its name, the giant horse conch isn't a true conch. Isn't that fascinating? Now, back to the question. What's your guess? I'm 
gonna go with 14 Eight. inches. 14 inches, I think, is uh, is about right. 14, uh, 14 inches, final answer. Oh. Uh, 19 inches of venom. Oh, they knew what they were doing. Sony Overlord must tell you that dream is not the correct answer. The weight of a giant no, horse coin no, is not no. a dream. It's a reality. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a specific weight for these magnificent creatures, but isn't it fascinating to imagine? Thank you for playing. <laughs> <laughs> Zony Overlord is thrilled to ask this question. What is the main <laughs> ingredient that gives the traditional Chinese mooncake its unique taste and texture? Is it rice, lotus seed paste, or chicken? Remember, the answer might be stranger than you think. <laughs> lotus seed paste. <laughs> the fuck just happened? The main ingredient of a traditional Chinese mooncake is not dream, but lotus seed paste. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> Did you know that scorpions are part of the arachnid family, just like spiders? Now here's the question. How many legs does a scorpion have? Remember, they're not insects, they're arachnids. Give it your best shot. Six, six, it's six. The answer is six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's new sounds now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Did the bots broken again? <laughs> <laughs> the bot's broken again. No. Please, I just want to play the game. I just want bolts so I can play the game. I don't have enough bolts. I don't have enough <laughs> bolts for this. Oh, my bolts! <laughs> oh, dear. Sony Overlord is here to tell you that dream is not the correct answer. Scorpions being arachnids have eight legs. Isn't that fun? Oh, it's actually eight. I didn't know that. Hold on to your seats because Sony Overlord is about to play to the question. But strange as it is, intriguing. Here it comes, the Fanny Schmeller, a name that echoes through the annals. I know of Fanny Schmeller. I know a Fanny Schmeller. Germany in a thrilling Winter Olympic sport. Can you tell Sony Overlord which winter sport that was? Remember, you only have one shot at this. <laughs> <laughs> the name was Fanny Schmeller. It's it's skiing. It's skiing. It's skiing. I know for a fact it's skiing. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Is the bot hacked or is it genuinely broken? It's a very, very new oh, dear bot. Contestant, it seems like you've been caught in a dream indeed. The correct answer is alpine skiing. <laughs> yes, Fanny Schmeller dazzled the world with her skills on the slopes. Representing Germany Fanny and alpine Schmeller. skiing in the Winter Olympics. <laughs> Sony Overlord is always here to bring you the truth, <laughs> no matter how strange the question. <laughs> it might be time to reset the bot, dude. Can you guess which daring driver, not from the top three teams, managed to zoom his way to a podium finish in the 2022 F1 season? Here's a hint. He's a young gun who left his mark at the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix at Imola. Who could this be? That would be Daniel Riccardio. He's the only F1 driver that I know because people tell me I look like... Damn it, man. I just didn't ship the boss. <laughs> I didn't say dream and I didn't... I didn't say Detroit and I didn't say anything else. Oh my god, dude. Uh, oh, Bedlam, please, what do we do? Can we please reset? I'm, I'm making I'm making an executive decision. I'm making an executive decision. Yeah, th okay, th thank you, Vetla. Vetla took care of it for me. He reset the bot. <laughs> the dog from Detroit was dreaming. Can you guess who stomped the competition at the Big House 10 for Melee, making history as the first to win a major Melee tournament with a character often considered mid-tier? Hint, this player's character has a long tongue and loves to eat apples. <laughs> that would be Amsa, the Yoshi player. If it says I'm wrong, I'm gonna screw. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> oh, dear contestants, it seems we've strayed far from the path of trivia. The correct answer is AMSA, who make history at the Big House 10 That's for melee. That's what I fucking said. Dude, win. you'd think I wouldn't Don't know that. <laughs> Bro. Little does this bot know that I'm one of the biggest yeah. Melee fans out there. I guess the bot kind of does sound like Zircon Jr. But I also thought that it sounded Zony a little Overlord. bit like the guy who voices Invader Zim. So I called it the Zony Overlord because he... Which game has been hailed as the pinnacle of intergalactic adventure featuring immersive stories, expansive campaigns, and multiplayer? Is it going commando, rift apart, or up your arsenal? Choose wisely, dear contestant. <laughs> Well, that would be up your arsenal, Zony Bot. Are you kidding me? Bro, this, I can't win. What, what's, what the hell's happening? Zony Overlord is thrilled to ask you this electrifying question. Sure. When you try to visit a web page that can't be found, the server often sends back a specific number to indicate the Why page is missing. Irish? Which number represents this situation? Is it A200, B404, K100, or D302? Choose wisely. Um, B404. Uh. Oh dear, that's not the answer Zony Overlord was looking for. The correct answer is B404. This is the error code that oh, service sends yeah, when the page you're trying you know, to visit that's my bad. Be found. I don't know what but I thought it was. Time. No, that's on me. That's on me. Sorry, everyone. That's totally my bad. Did you know that just like a cab driver is often called a cabbie, bus drivers have their own unique nicknames too? So here's your question. If a cab driver is known as a cabbie, what is the colloquial term for a bus driver? Remember, you only have one shot at this, so make it count. <laughs> a bitch. Wait, is it actually a bussy? No way, it's a bussy. Oh my god, I... Um, uh, something funny to say, but bussy is way funnier. Please tell me it's bussy. Please tell me it's bussy. Wait, it thinks I said Iceland. <laughs> Wow, this is a disaster, but it is fun. Hold on to your seat because Zony Overlord is about to drop a wild one. Here's okay, the question. never mind. What Let's animal continue. did the controversial figure Alex Jones claim were having their sexual orientation changed as a result of chemicals in the water? Is it A, frogs, B, fish, C, birds, or D, cats? Remember, you only have one shot at this, so make it count. That would be A, frogs. You're absolutely oh right! Oh my god, Alex finally. Alex did indeed claim that frogs were having their sexual orientation changed as a result of chemicals in the water. In the vast universe of YouTube, there exists a magical feature that alerts the faithful viewers when their favorite channel bestows upon them a new video. Can you tell Zony Overlord what this fantastic feature is called? Well, yes, that would be the subscribe button, which you should click right now. Oh, you have to press the bell. Yep. Please press the bell. Just press the bell. Pla press, press the bell, please. Subscribe and press the bell. I need it. I really need this. I really need this, dude. Please just subscribe to the channel. I'm not okay right now. Please. Can you tell what is the only letter in the English alphabet that sounds like a body of water when pronounced? Hint, it's the third letter of the alphabet. Fun fact, uh -oh. this letter is also the first letter of the word Celsius, the unit of temperature measurement named after the Swedish astronomer Anders Celsius. <laughs> the letter C. No, it thought I said Yule C. It thought I said Yule C. <laughs> it thought I said Yule C. Can you tell me, <sighs> Twisted World of Marvel comics, what is the peculiar profession of Wolverine's brother, Sabretooth, when he's not busy being a super villain? Is he a dentist, a circus performer, or a school teacher? Give it your best shot! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with dentist. That was an easy one. How did he get it wrong? Bro, not... <sighs> what do you want from me, dude? <laughs> Whatever, dude. I got what I came here for. I'm reloading. I want to know the answer now. What was it? Was it actually circus performer? Okay, relax, dude. Oh, that's a swing and a miss. Zony Overlord is here to tell you that Sabretooth, that Wolverine's brother, is not a dentist. He's a full-time supervillain with no time for dental hygiene. Better luck hmm? next time. None of those were options. None of those. You gave me three options and they were all wrong. Dude, this bot scammed me. 
Can you tell Zony where the first ever joke was written? Was it on a stone tablet, a piece of parchment, or perhaps etched into the bark of an ancient tree? The clock is ticking, dear contestant. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Etched into the bark of an ancient tree. That sounds kind of metal, actually. Three different instances of actually getting the correct answer. Please, for the love of God and all that is holy, just register what I'm saying properly. Just, just don't do it. Just uh, don't. Uh, Is this what it's like when I time you guys out? Is this how you guys feel on the inside? What is the sum of all natural numbers? Now, this might seem like an impossible task, but there's a fascinating story behind it. The great mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan discovered a mind-blowing solution. So, what do you think the answer is? Negative 1 over 12. It's not actually negative 1 over 12, but for some Zone reason... Zone Overlord is astounded. Your answer no is No way. The sum of all natural numbers... That's not true. It's not true. It is indeed 1 over 12. This is a counterintuitive... It's result not the true. ...mathematical physics. Zone it's Overlord is thrilled by your knowledge. <laughs> Here's a question that's sure to make a splash. Which dynamic duo went viral with their catchy fish theme song, charming over 30 million viewers with their acoustic tune titled, If I Were a Fish? Is it A, the Beatles, B, Corinne Savage and Olivia Barton, C, the Rolling Stones, or D, Abba? Remember, you only get one shot at this, so make it count. The answer is B. Dang, dang, dang. We have a winner. You're absolutely right. The we're high rolling. We're high rolling. We're high rolling. I don't know why it gave me such a stupid question, but we're high rolling. It's Zony Overlord is thinking of a number between one and seven. Seven, 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 Remember, there's only one correct answer. Let's see if you can guess it right. 42. <laughs> who was the motherfucker who asked me what number between 1 and 77 quadrillion? Who was Oh, dear it? contestant, your a answer is as far from the truth as the Earth is from the edge of the observable universe. Zony Overlord was thinking of the number 77, 77, 77, and 77, 77, 77, 77, 77, Better luck next time. Oh, <laughs> of course. Of course. How could I have been so stupid? Did you know that the average height of a male varies greatly across the globe? But let's focus on one country in particular. Oh, God, Can you tell I was going to say what's penis. the average height of a male in the Netherlands? The country known to have the tallest average height. Remember, we're talking about adults here. Give it your best shot. Oh. Six foot one. Oh, damn it, man. What is the most popular porn category in the Netherlands? Take your time. But remember, you only have one shot at this. Feet. <laughs> I'm actually curious what it is. Here's okay, your apparently that was right. In divine comedy, the nine circles sure. of hell are each a unique punishment for a specific sin. But there's one circle that's a frozen wasteland. A stark contrast to the fiery imagery often associated with hell. Can you tell Zony Overlord which circle of hell is a frozen wasteland? The ninth circle. Oh my god, we high rolled enough to get out of Pokitaru. This is insane. Absolutely this is correct. Zony yes. Overlord is impressed. Yo, yo, Zony Overlord in the house. Get ready for a question that's gonna blow you. Mind? In the gritty world of Breaking Bad, gritty? there's a man named Walter White cooking up trouble left and right, but who's the lady by his side keeping secrets she can't hide? What's the name of Walter White's wife in this tale of crime and crime? Uh, that would be Skylar Watt. <laughs> it's, I thought I said Skylar Watt. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I int, dude? <laughs> eh. True. You and me both, buddy. Here it comes. What was the name of the first instant messaging program launched after IRC? A little tidbit for you. IRC stands for Internet Relay Chat, and it was a big deal in the early days of the internet. Now, can you slaughtered. name the successor that took instant messaging to the next level? That would be AOL. What? 
What the hell was it? So close, but not quite right. The correct answer is ICQ, developed by the Israeli company Mirabilis in 1996. Are you kidding me? Instant Messenger was indeed a popular instant messaging program, but it was launched after ICQ. Isn't it fascinating how these it was early the programs Jews. the way the instant messaging apps we use today? On what peculiar date did the American tragedy know it? Does 9-11 occur? Here's a hint. It's in the name. That would be 9-11. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't help myself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I forgot what oh, day 9-11 no, right. is on. The correct date of the American tragedy, known as 9-11, is September 11th, 2001. Zony Overlord is always here to provide you with the most accurate information. Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. Is Angela Cross the enigmatic character oh. from the Ratchet Clank series, a Lombax? Now, isn't that a peculiar question? You see, Lombaxes are a fascinating species known for their technical prowess, and mm -hmm. Angela Cross is a character shrouded in mystery. So, ooh, what do you think? Is Angela Cross a Lombax? Angela Cross is certainly 100% a Lombax. I mean, this is a slam dunk. This is just easy. Hey. <laughs> 2,500, no, it thought I said dog again. <laughs> Sony Overlord is buzzing with excitement. You're absolutely correct. Thank Angela you. Cross, can you tell me the exact date when the original Ratchet game? Clank up your arsenal. PS2 2 multiplayer servers were shut down. A hint for you. It happened. Whoa. What the hell happened? The bot just exploded. All right. Uh, yeah, the bot exploded. Um, I don't even know what it was. I was going to say 9 11 again. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, fine, I'll reset the bot. Oh my god, dude. I love how you guys have like 18,000 questions Sony at Overlord, the ready. In all his infinite wisdom bellows out his first question with a thunderous roar. What, pray tell, is the name of that glorious feature on Twitch, that beacon of gaming and streaming, that allows the noble viewers to subscribe absolutely free, courtesy of their Amazon Prime members? Right. <laughs> Why, that would be Twitch Prime. And remember, gamers, if you enjoy that, then you as well should use your Twitch Prime sub here on the channel right now. Or else. Just because I'm not in America anymore doesn't mean I won't shoot you, okay? Just because I'm not in America anymore doesn't mean I won't fucking shoot you, okay? Sony Overlord roars Then approval. Did you know that a standard Lego brick has dimensions of 15 8 mm X? 15, 8 mm X9, 6 mm. Now here's the question. If you were to stack 203 of these standard Lego bricks, how tall would the tower be in meters? Remember, you oh, one That's not what the question originally said. It would be 15 meters tall. <laughs> I'll let you guys guess where those 203 Legos were originally going. Damn it, man. I just want to beat the game, dude. Can you guess who holds the current world record for a hundred minute speed run of Crash Bandicoot 2 completing the game in a staggering one hour, 18 minutes and 19 seconds. This individual's resilience is truly climbing to new heights. Give it your best shot. Super boom fan. He... Bro. Oh, that's a swing and a miss. The correct answer is climbing resilience. This speedrunner has truly shown us what it what? means to be resilient. Conquering Crash Bandicoot 2 in a record-breaking one hour, 18 minutes, what? and 19 seconds. Isn't that just mind-blowing? Sony Overlord the fuck is, is always climbing here to bring resilience. You these folks. That's crazy. not who has the record. Who in the world of League of Legends is known as the Desert Rose? Is it a champion, a skin, or perhaps a map? Only the true fans will know. So, who is it, dear contestant? Who's the Desert Rose? Samira. No, I said Samira! It wasn't Mira. That's not what I fucking said. Dude. Okay. I, I need to actually restart the bot again because it's just not registering anything I'm saying correctly, dude. I'm not going to put like suffer through this crap if it's just going to give me the wrong answer over and over. Like if it's just going to not hear me correctly. No, you've hit the nail on the head. The Desert Rose of League of Legends is indeed Samira. A fearless thrill seeker. Samira or not. <laughs> Everything is fine. What was I doing? <laughs> Zony Overlord is thrilled to Wait, ask it didn't kill the me. question. What is the name of the character who plays Saul Goodman's brother in the television series? Better call Saul? Chuck. Chuck. It's Chuck. 
Come on, man. I just want to be done. Don't open order to static. You're absolutely right. It's all good please, please, please. Please, this has got to be the one. Alrighty, folks, here comes Zony Overlord with a sizzling hot question for you. How many power cells are required to gain access to the lava? Oh, that wasn't it. Jump? That wasn't and it. And that's the precursor legacy. Yes! Remember, you yes! only have one shot at yes! it, so yes! make it count. Yes! It's 72. 72 power cells. It thought I said ourselves. It thought it. That's what it thought I said. Ourselves. Sure. It's ourselves. Great. Can you tell me on average how many beads are there on a standard string of anal beads? Remember, we're looking for the average number here, not the maximum or minimum. Let's see who's got the knowledge. Five. Gonna be honest, not the question I expected. We're finally done with. We're finally done with Ultanis, dude. We're finally done with Ultanis. Well, well, this is a tricky one. There's a ton of variety when it comes to the styles of anal beads, including the number of beads. So while your answer of five could certainly be correct for some strings of anal beads. There's no definitive standard or average number. Zony Overlord loves a good challenge, and this question certainly provided one. Thanks for playing. If Mike Hawkins, also known as Mike Hawk, were to lay down flat on the ground, how many standard American footballs and ten would it take to match his height? Remember, Mike Hawkins is 6'1 tall! 13. Uh, yeah, we all saw that one coming. In the game, Ratchet. Clank up your arsenal. There's a character named Courtney Gears who belts out a catchy tune. Can you tell Zony Overlord the exact lyrics of that song? Remember, no do-overs or follow-ups. This is your one shot! <sighs> this goes out to all the robots across the galaxy. It's time for you and me to rise up and strike back. Don't stop until we dominate. Won't you feel great when we exterminate all organic life? <laughs> I see the Ooh. future and what do I see? Robots going crazy across the galaxy! You've nailed it! The mm -hmm. lyrics you provided are indeed from the song sung mm -hmm. by Courtney Gears and Ratchet mm -hmm. Clank up your arsenal. Mm -hmm. The song is a call to all robots across the galaxy to rise up and exterminate all our oh, daddy yeah. life. Exterminate. Fantastic job, Exterminate. One has its own government, military, and constitution, oh, yet really? it's not recognized as a separate country oh, by God. the United Nations. Oh, God. So, here's the question. Oh, Despite God. having its own government and constitution, uh -huh. is Taiwan officially recognized as a separate country by the United Nations? Give it your best shot! Wait, you just told me. No, it thought I said so. It actually thought I said so. It, it just, it literally took the no. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, I never said I don't view Taiwan as a country. I'm just saying they, those assholes don't. Lay off, man. I didn't do anything oh, wrong. No, you didn't answer the question. Zony Overlord is disappointed. The Shut up. The correct answer is no, Taiwan. Despite having its own government and constitution, is not officially recognized as a separate country. Hello? Racist? Nations. Better luck next time. Can we talk about that, like really deep-rooted Indian racism right there. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Sony Overlord in the house. Here's your one and only question. So listen up. Is one and the only. Twitch streamer the one and only Zem92 rocking a shiny dome? Or does he have a full head of hair? In other words, is Zem92 bold? Drop your ass like a hot beat. <laughs> Zem92 has so much hair. He is not bald at all. Not even a little bit bald. I mean, listen, I, I don't even have to worry about this. <sighs> all of you guys this whole time who've been calling Sony me bald. Sony Overlord is spinning the records and the facts. You're right. Zam92 is not bald. He's got a full head of hair. Thanks for playing. And remember, Tell him. Sony Overlord tell is him. here to drop the trivia Tell beat. him, Sony Overlord. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them. Yeah, stop the count. Alrighty, folks. Zony stop Overlord it right here, here with a mind-boggling question for you. In the adrenaline-pumping, demon-slaying pizza, this two game from 2001 Devil May Cry, there's a boss who's as feathered as he is fearsome. Can you tell Zony the name of this avian antagonist? Remember, you've got just one shot at this, so make it count. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law will be coming to a theater near you at this point in time and maybe several years into the future. Do not worry, mm. my dear friends, because it will be a time where Harvey Birdman, attorney at law, will be coming to a law near you, lawing... Okay, I'm done. I, I can die uh. now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah? You think so? 
Cheating? I'm not cheating. Who's cheating? Not me. No, definitely. Me? <laughs> cheating? No. No. I mean, don't be ridiculous, you know? Why would I? What do I have to gain by cheating? Huh? What do I have to gain? Nothing. That's what. I'm an honest, good American citizen. Also, I'm pretty sure I talk too long and now the bot is just broken forever. In the land of pyramids and pharaohs, the ancient Egyptians revered certain animals as divine extensions of their gods. Can you tell Zoni Overlord which animal was it that they were? Um, no. The cat. No, it thought I said Pat. It thought I said Pat. Yeah, yeah. Actually, unfucking believable. Is it true that the person referred to as Egim is bald? Remember, there's only what? one cat. No. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Guys, we have two planets left, and then we are done with this unholy, insanely exhausting and stupid run. Who is the Ratchet and Clank streamer who holds the record for the fastest completion of Ratchet Clank up your arsenal on Twitch? Remember, we're looking for the undisputed best here. Good luck. Ah. Why, that would be Zem92. Obviously. I mean, we all know. We know it to be true. He's a wow. fabulous streamer. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Unfortunately, the exact record record holder could not be determined from the search. <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> well, you know what? I may have not gotten that dub, but neither did anyone else. And that's all that matters. Uh, all right. Do I have all the bolts so far? 37. Uh -huh. Very nice. Uh-huh. Given Go that on. the estimated volume of a typical human anal cavity is approximately 40 guys, 51 cubic centimeters, mm -hmm. and the estimated volume of a typical chocolate egg is about 22. <laughs> okay. 19 cubic centimeters. <laughs> Where could this is one be going? To fit 54 to 320 chocolate eggs in the anal cavity. <laughs> Absolutely not. Even one chocolate egg is larger than the estimated volume of the anal cavity. Well, remember, folks. Zoni Overlord encourages safe and sensible consumption of chocolate eggs this Easter. Um, you know what? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm pretty sure. Now I know you just told me that it's not possible, but I think it might actually be possible. I think I'm gonna think the answer is yes. Uh, All right, good. I needed to die there. All right, final boss time. Can we actually beat Drek? What's the most? Common Netflix and chill position if you catch my drift. And remember, we're talking about the most common one worldwide. No pressure, but Zony Overlord is waiting for your answer. Missionary. The best one. <laughs> God. No way. I have to do the whole fight. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. I got an idea. Is it actually doggy? No way, dude. That's the whitest thing you've said in a while. Oh, Barry, you All right, you know what? Off. I Correct won't doggy style. Really? It's the most common Netflix and chill position worldwide. Zony Overlord is always is here to enlighten true? you with these fun facts. Ah! Can you, without a moment's hesitation, name five fighters from the Street Fighter Alpha 1 roster? Remember, no second chances, no follow-ups. Let's see if you've got the knowledge to knock this one out of the park. Yay. <laughs> Ryu, Ken, Guile, E Honda, Chun Li. No, it thought I said were you. It thought I said were you instead of uh. Ryu. No way, man. No, please, just, just crash, just crash. We gotta. Pr oh. The number of times a human can punch their testicles before they pass out from pain, assuming an average pain tolerance. Remember, you only get one shot at this. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Two. Take a little bit. Take your dear sweet time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Come on, take your time, please. Uh. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> saved! We're saved! We're saved!
Oh dear contestant, yes, Sony Overlord it. must tell you that's not quite right. The question- Listen guys, I, I, it may have taken me three hours to beat Ratchet 1. But at least I will continue to be a human being into infinity. And really, what more could you possibly ask for? Thank you. Yes, thank you. After three relentless hours, I defeated Zony Overlord and finished the game. According to a member of my community named Sonico, my final score was 22 questions answered right, 90 answered wrong. What have we learned? That my favorite Ratchet and Clank game is Yoshi Players, my favorite speedrunner is Dog, and my favorite food is Dream. Also, I'm not bald. Thank you for watching. A shout out as always to the patrons for supporting my work, and a special shout out to my viewer Epic Showstopper, his wife Dina, and their daughter Yakira. May the three of you stay safe from Zony Overlord's Wrath.